In this example, I need to graph 6x minus 2y equals 8 using the slope and the y-intercept. While well, quickly reviewing, the slope-intercept form of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope and the y-intercept is the ordered pair 0b. Now, is my given equation in slope-intercept form? No, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is solve this equation for y. So here's my given equation. To get y by itself, the first thing I'm going to have to do is subtract 6x from both sides. 6x minus 6x is 0, so I get negative 2y equals, unlike terms on the right-hand side can't combine, negative 6x plus 8. I want to write the x term first so I can get it in the form of y equals mx plus b. Now to get y by itself I need to divide both sides by negative 2 and on the right hand side you make less mistakes if you divide each term individually by negative 2. These negative 2's reduce and I just get y equals Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is 3, so I get 3x, and then 8 divided by negative 2 is going to give me minus 4. So now my equation is in slope-intercept form. Remember, the slope, m, is the coefficient of the x term. So in this case, what is my slope? It is 3. We want to write it as a fraction, so you divide it by 1. And I'm going to graph this using rise over run. So since my slope is positive, I know my rise is going to equal 3, which means I'm going to go up 3. And my run is 1, and I'm going to run from left to right. Also from the equation, I know the y-intercept has the coordinates 0, comma b, and what's b in this case? Negative 4. So now I'm ready to graph my equation. I'm going to graph the y-intercept first. So start at the origin, x is 0, go nowhere in the x direction, y is negative 4, so go down 4, and there is my y-intercept. Now I'm going to use rise over run. I'm going to go up 3 and to the right 1. So starting at my y-intercept, up 1, 2, 3, and run 1 to the right. Again, 1, 2, 3, up, 1 to the right. 1, 2, 3, up, 1 to the right. And if I want points to the left of the y-axis, I can reverse both of these. I can go down 3 and left 1. So now I'm ready to graph my line. Hopefully I can get the line to go through my points. That looks pretty good. And don't forget to put arrows on both ends of your line. So this is the graph of the equation 6x minus 2y equals 8.